morning. Back in March 2021, they announced the, uh, the new uh, Audi GT uh, e-tron, full electric EV car, um, which is, has been built on an, on, an, on the same, same platform of Porsche Taycan. Uh, it's a very nice car. And then back in March, um, I, 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 I participated in what they call the virtual or webinar presentation online. Uh, it was a very nice uh, uh, experience back at that time. You can see uh, the, the images. It was a very good organized. Uh, even uh, we get some uh, gifts back home. It was a package with uh, with luxury um, uh, breakfast or uh, to, to enjoy watching the webinar. And it was very nice and uh, very good organized. Today um, I could make a, a test drive of the Audi e-tron GT and I'm on my, on my way to uh, Audi Rotterdam uh, to, just to try the new Audi GT the, the car is uh, it's a German car, it's a very good one built again on the platform of Porsche Taycan and uh, the price category is almost the same as the Model X from uh, Tesla sound of the Audi uh, Jeep e-tron. Beautiful car. Look to the interior. Have a look. All adaptable, the whole screen can be changed. Uh, infotainment system, uh, Audi quality, very nice one. Didn't go in detail, so I have to have a look in it. Very more, very nice sporty lines. A, bit. a lot of natural light shining in in the car. Very nice quality made. Quiet. Very good isolation. Um, and, and, and a very very good sporty acceleration and EV acceleration. Uh, it's a good one. It's a beautiful car. The infotainment system is, uh, is working pretty good uh, with, uh, with, more, with nice satellite images, uh, some basic functionalities like every car, um, solid made, uh, again very good nice isolation except the EV sound that you are hearing um, to imitate uh, a real car, drives well, stable, uh, good dynamic. The acceleration is uh, breathtaking. I, I, I call breathtaking. I mean, this looks like a Tesla in, uh, in a way of feel of acceleration, and especially the isolation here is uh, much better than a Tesla. And I'm talking about my Tesla, which is five years old. Uh, it has been changed, I think, with the modern uh, type, with the new one. Um, look, now I'm, I'm taking um, a turn on the, on the, on the street and the, the car just uh, uh, keep itself between two lines. You have to keep your hand on the steering wheel, assisting the car in, 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 in driving. Nice cushioning, very nice seats. Though I think it's a little bit small on the small side in the back seats. Uh, we'll have a look in a few moments. The stability of this beast on street is unbelievable and there are some um, uh, driving assistant functionalities the uh, same like in Porsche Taycan I think and Mercedes-Benz uh, um, it's bad weather so I, I found the traction controllers working beautifully the, the EV sound I'm not used to and um, comparing to Tesla uh, there is some shifter 
again it's the same platform like Porsche Taycan so it has two uh, uh, it has like a gearbox or uh, two uh, speeds uh, shifting uh, to add, add more efficiency there are a few driving modes in this car dynamic comfort and uh, Efficiency. I didn't, didn't, I didn't uh, notice any difference between them, but it's me. Maybe I'm, I'm not following the instructions. Something like that. It has something to do with the acceleration, with the recharging, and with the higher height of the car. There's some shifting pedals here in in the steering wheel, and I notice it just controls the the quantity. Or the behavior of recharging when I'm, I'm I'm pushing on it. The recharging is active recharging, and I mean by that that it's not going to regenerate by itself. You have to push on the uh, uh, brake braking pedals, so it's going to start the recharging. Again, it's my experience. Maybe in, in installation of this car, you can uh, have something else. Look at those beautiful lines. It's gorgeous. This is sporty back. Some ventilation, sporty ventilation holes. And this aggressive sporty OD front side. Hmm, this one or this one? I have to choose between those two. I have two charging points here over the on the other side also with combo combo. One downside in this car again is the Taycan platform. The floor and the back seats is not uh, flat. There is this uh, trap in the middle, or the highness, which makes the third seat not so uh, big one. Beautiful screen with natural light, beautiful interior. But I again I have uh, not so much space for my feet. It's a sporty car. Get out of this car! Wait! Just stop. Face it fast. Look at those seats. Beautiful. It's not that big, uh, but the size from, from behind, I mean, it fits a few, few uh, bags, but uh, it's not that big. But, uh, Have you enough room? Wait, wait. It's very small. Oh. It fits three children from, uh, in the back seat. The acceleration in this car com compared to the Tesla, when I asked my wife, she said it feels real in this car. And I said, real? What do you mean by real? I, like a real car. How does it feel in the Tesla? She said, in the Tesla it feels like it's uh, a roller coaster. So I keep uh, the, the judgment of which one accelerates better than the other one to you guys. Calm down before you stress up the groove, the energy a little different. Toes, baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Hey, where the money? I look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it. It's split it with my kinfolk daily. And I'm the type of that might change my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you. Pretty brown skin, baby. I can see the summer on you. You see all the brand.